I was able to stay sequestered in my home is because some black woman was able to stack the grocery shelf. Torture talk. Back at it. Like, share, subscribe to the page. All right, man. I want to talk about Joe Biden and his last statement about black women. Before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Notification bell. You know, if you want to donate, cash app in the description. If not, best way to support the channel is to like, share, subscribe. All right, man. Joe Biden, back in the news. Once again, the hypocrisy of America is out of control. Everything's Trump, 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 Trump's racist. Trump's racist. Trump, Trump, Trump's on COVID. Trump's, yeah, Trump's, Trump's uh, faking COVID. Trump's Trump, Trump, Trump. And nobody talks about how weak Joe Biden is. And nobody talks about Joe Biden and the things he say about black people. And it, it kills me how black people just smooth this over all the time. It's like black people are so, in this country, we are so complacent. And it's like, whenever it comes to certain people who actually gets on our nerves or make us feel a certain way, you don't have to have proof of anything. You could just say they make you feel a certain way. And what you do, what you do, you call them a racist, you say this about them, you say that about them, okay? Even if you say Trump's a racist, even if you say that. But a lot of times y'all have no evidence or no factual. Y'all pull something out your ass or say something from um, to set 1973 that didn't happen or or his father was a racist, all this stuff. Y'all have all these excuses. But this dude, Joe Biden, comes out and says things. He says things that are strictly racist or things that are, I would say, playing that line and showing his supreme white privilege and you guys don't say anything about it. This is how I know that y'all a bunch of frauds. All y'all that say that uh, Trump's a racist and y'all don't give me no proof, but y'all don't never scream out Joe Biden's a racist. Y'all frauds. Y'all frauds, period. That's it. Y'all frauds. Because there's no way you can sit here and tell me that if, if, if Trump said what Joe Biden said about black women, y'all would... It would be all over the internet. Y'all just had this whole thing for a whole three, four days talking about how Trump supports white supremacy because he said, stand back and stand down or, or stand by, stand back and stand by, which he was talking about the Proud Boys, which the Proud Boys, not even a racist group, which was made up, actually. Nobody really knows about the Proud Boys, except, except for a certain amount of things. And there are black members in the Proud Boys. So if there is if there is racism or or white supremacy, why would there be black people in a white supremacist group? Which is stupid. But a lot of y'all out there would say, oh, you there can be. I seen some black KK members like stop it. Stop it. But if Trump would have said what Biden had said. It'd have been, that'd have been it. This dude Biden said, the reason why I get to stay in my house, I'm paraphrasing, the reason why I get to stay in my house is because of the black women that stock shelves. Like, come on, man. You ain't black if you don't vote for me or if you vote for the other candidate. Come on, man. Black, unlike the African-American community, the Latino community is very diverse. Come on, man. Like, why is it that every time we turn around, you always got to say something about black people, but not in a, a, a good way, in a demeaning way? Why? And this is just recent. This is recent. This is not what you said a couple of years ago or years ago. This is recent. So this is how you've been feeling all the way up to this time. And it's like, I'm not even, I'm going to put it to y'all like this. Joe Biden is an old man and he is who he is. He's set in his ways. That's just that. I'm not even mad at Joe Biden for the fact that he probably don't even know what he's talking about, what he's doing. He's just saying whatever comes to his mind. That's it. So he's already gone already. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm mad at y'all, all y'all people, especially black people who support Joe Biden and say Trump's a racist. That's my problem. Now, if you're going to support Joe Biden, but not call him a racist, then stop calling Trump a racist. Stop calling Trump a racist. That's my problem with y'all. Y'all prob my, my biggest problem with black America is the fact that we don't never want to take accountability for the things that we do. But yet and still, we want to project or point the finger at everybody else and call them things. Call them racist or call them whatever. But we never want to look at ourselves and say, you know what? Maybe I can do better in society or do better for society or even treat people nicer. Maybe. A lot of us do. A lot of us do. I'm talking about the specific people who don't. I'm not talking about everybody because I'm sure that there are a lot of good black people who don't do that. But that's that, man. That dude is clearly on some, he on some shit, man. And y'all just got to admit it. But you can't sit here and tell me that Trump's this, Trump's that, Trump's this, Trump's that, Trump's this, Trump's that. But yet and still, you don't call out Joe Biden for him blatantly saying things about black women. Now, I'm hearing that the Black Lives Matter, one of the co-founders is saying that he is a white supremacist too. Now, I want to see if y'all going to, what y'all going to do now. I want to see what black America is going to do now. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, black America need to wake up. Wake up. If you could, you could support the Democratic Party if you want. But look at what they have done for us for years and years and years and years. Overall, nothing, nothing. Cities are still destroyed. So go ahead and vote for Joe Biden if you want, because that's 47 more years or 47 years of nothing and do nothing but talk down on black people. But y'all so gun ho to vote for this dude and say there's, there's white privilege. There's white privilege. But you want to vote for a man that does nothing but talk down on black people. I've never seen Trump talk down on black people. Not one time. Now, one time. Now, you can say Trump's a racist. You could you could say that, but you got to prove me. You got to show me. But I've never seen him talk down on black people. Not one time. But that dude, all the time, all the time, he talks down on black people. And y'all want to vote for him. But y'all talk about white supremacy in America or systemic racism in America. But you want to vote for the same dude that vote that talks down on you. How does that make sense? How? 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 You want to get rid of uh, 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 systemic racism and white supremacy, but you want to vote for the same man who does that. Torture talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hey, man, listen. Don't let this man get away with that. I want to see the I want to see the outcry of black women saying something now. Where y'all at now? All all the black women on the on on the left that has so much to say on Twitter, has so much to say on Facebook, has so much to say on all, all, all these media black women that's saying, "Oh, he ain't skin folk. He can uh, he ain't kin folk. He's skin folk." All y'all that have a lot to say, calling black people coons, all this stuff. Where y'all at now? I want I want y'all to say something now. Speak now. Talk about what he said about y'all. Y'all stocking shelves to keep him in his house. Talk about that. That's what I want to hear. Other than that, shut the hell up. Because if y'all not going to do anything or say anything, then shut up. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is.